accessories to go with it, a couple of cases to test the different ones. We've got the basic blue pouch and the Cordura, the tough pouch with the extra pocket in it. Um, I've got a grill coming as well. Um, we're actually in Moor Hall in the gardens of where Moor Hall used to be. Um, so obviously the hall itself is all derelict now and the gardens still have all the walls and you can kind of walk through it all. Uh, I'll give you a quick 360 of it. See it all behind me there. Hopefully it's coming out okay for you guys. Um, but if you're ever in the in the Mayo area in Republic of Ireland, head down. It's a lovely we're place to walk around. We're going to try out the folding firebox stove with the different sizes of billy can that I have available. Uh, me and a friend have to have a few different ones. Uh, I believe we have the 10, the 12, and the 14 centimeter billy cans as well as some generic pots as well to see whether they fit and I've got an aluminium saucepan that I can show you the, the size and I can measure it up and stuff like that if you'd like. Cool, so this is the folding firebox stove. Uh, this is all the bits you actually get in the package if you just get the stove on its own. Uh, mine just arrived this morning. Apologies if it's quite grey in the in the video there. It's really wet and horrible outside, so the uh, it's affecting the light quality indoors here. Um, so obviously you get the stove itself. Um, it is as thin as it looks in the pictures on the on the website. You get a basic, just a basic thin pouch, which it all comes in. Just something to uh, protect it from soot, really. You get your basic grill pan there, which is, I have the other one just off camera there. Um, this one is quite a bit smaller than the other one over there. This one's made to go inside the folding firebox itself, while the other one has different notches on it to actually sit on the top of the folding firebox. Um, and then you have your ash pan, which is obviously shaped. It only goes in one way, and it catches all the ash from underneath the actual firebox itself. Um, you get a couple of fire sticks included. You can buy extra ones of those. A lot of people seem to recommend buying an extra set so that you can use it with multiple things like a trangia and then have a pot, like a smaller pot or a cup inside as well so that you can suspend both inside the uh, wind protection of the folding firebox itself. Cool, yeah, so once you've done the fire sticks, once you actually open it up, you can see the holes are all different depending on where it's opened up. And inside there, it's not a perfect square, as other videos have said, I'm, I'm sure you've seen. Um, so when you fold the the bottom plate down, it actually locks into place in the little tabs that are on the side here. So it has space for them to lock down. And then once it's actually set up, the ash pan just slides in underneath, and that's it. And then it's set up. The, the grill plate that comes with it can fit in just here. You can put the fire sticks through the different holes. There's various sets of holes you can put it through. Depending on what sort of thing you're using, if you're using a trangier, you can obviously put them through certain different holes depending on the height that you require. Um, these have been used with multiple different types of fuel. Um, people use them as, I've seen them used as a Dutch oven as well. So if you lay it on its side, you can fill it with coals and then you can use the top surface as the cooker and apparently people have used it as a pizza oven as well. Uh, feel free to leave comments, like tell us what you've used it for and what the best thing you've found to use it for is. Okay, so this is the extra grill plate you can get. Um, this is the standard size one. I didn't go for the extra large one. Um, just personal preference really. I'm not gonna need not gonna need the larger one really. Um, I have still left in the the other one just below it there. So you could actually use that as a stand for a trangia or anything you wanted to. You could just have it a little bit lower down and use it as a plate. As long as you have this extra one, you wouldn't need those extra fire sticks. Because you could just put something straight onto this. Uh, depending on, like if you have a, a reasonable size cup or mm, I'm not sure about a pot, we'll have to check that to see if the little, because there is obviously a slight lip on it, to see whether these that would actually make a difference to holding the pot, whether that's going to interfere with the pot 
itself. They are necessary to actually fit the tabs in for the actual grill plate itself because without those then this would just slide around the same as the original one does which is why you have the extra one with the tabs. Cool, with this one there's not too much to say really about it. Um, it is only just the basic bag it comes in. Um, it's fine for, for storing the bag or you can use it to store additional accessories and stuff like that if you have a different bag or depending on how you, how you have things set up really. Um, it's just like a drawstring. Uh, it does just pull closed around the actual top of it. So it will just about fit the stove in. But you're not going to be pulling that top bit shut on it. It's more just to, just to protect the metal really. Um, but yeah, so that's the white bag. Coming on to the blue bag now. Um, so this is the one that I said was relatively new to the site. Like I said, there isn't many reviews on it at the moment. Um, I just wanted to see what it was like, because people tend to just go for the for the better bag instead. Um, it does have the D-ring on the top, which is actually attached by a separate piece of, of fabric. There is a Velcro strip that runs the full length of the top of the bag there. Um, I'll give you a size comparison again, to compare it to the actual the white bag. So you have a lot more material at the top there. So this is just about keeping it inside the restraints of the bag there so you can get a clear idea. This whole top section, like I said, is Velcro, so it's not really be really a usable area. Um, but it is a good size bag. So you could actually fit more than just excuse the uh, Velcro. You could fit more than just the stove in there. It's not done right up to the very edges, so there is a bit of bit of leeway for movement there as well um, as you can see it's kind of a like a webbing sort of material and uh, it'd be fairly hard wearing you could certainly be used for other items uh, for when you're going out you could certainly like put tinder in there or I don't know whatever you'd like really anything that would be for you anything that would be useful really cool so now we have the this one's Class as the heavy duty Kodura bag. Has the D ring of, of course attached to the top there so it can be hung off of the outside of your pack or on the inside if you have hanging straps or anything like that on the inside. So just to minimize the, the space it takes up really. Um, this one does have Velcro again across here. So I'll just open this up. So this one has a double, double set of Velcro. This is actually a pocket on the front here. So you have a reasonable size pocket, so it goes down to about here, from here. So it, it is available to fit some accessories in. So you could again put tinder, you could put fire lighters, um, you could put solid fuel blocks in here. You could pretty much have a self-contained kit just in this little in the little pouch here. Um, once again, I'll give you an idea of how. Well, it all fits. So this one does have a little bit more space because this is a flap over, so there is actually a bit more, bit more space to move around. Um, what I'll do now is I'll just put it in the bag for you, just so you can see how well it actually goes in. So you can see, hopefully you can see anyway. There's quite a lot of quite a lot of space there where you could actually fit additional items there is still a line across the top here where it actually folds over so you do have this extra leeway as well so really you could probably put the extra large grill plate would probably fit inside here as well and not actually come out not be impeding the use of the bag um, we'll just grab the grill plate and see if the, the original grill plate fits in there yeah, so that will fit in absolutely fine in the front pocket. And then this is the extra grill plate. So you fit that in. Yeah, no problem at all. And there's still all that all that extra space down the back there. So it folds closed, no problems at all. It's a good solid material. Um, it's well stitched together. 
and nice embroidered logo on the front there nothing too fancy I've seen people who've got these where they're well worn and they still hold up really well like after a good amount of use so definitely something to consider if you are going for one sorry about the phone there if you are going to be using it a lot it's certainly worth uh, worth looking at Okay guys, what we're going to do is I'm going to run through these pretty quick because you don't want to sit there watching me putting pots onto a stove. Um, I've just put the fire sticks on there, have the things shut. It makes no difference if, it, if this is open or shut because it doesn't encroach onto the uh, top platform at all. So you have your 10. So that one fits really well. As you can see, it doesn't even go outside, so all the heat is going to be going directly onto the pot itself. And then the extra heat is just going to be wrapping up round the sides there. Sorry for the shaky camera, I am doing this freehand while obviously picking up the other pots. And that's the 12, so it's still, still a great fit. No problems there at all. And then we have the 14. Cool, and then we have the fire maple pot with the extra the extra grills on there so it doesn't affect it in any way at all because it sits on the actual rails itself the only advantage is because it's got the extra extra hole in the bottom there you could generate a bit of extra heat straight up inside the pot there as well as on the fins and obviously around the edges as well and then we'll just grab our saucepan so that shaking isn't because of the actual firebox, that's because of the pan, because it's aluminium. It has got a bit warped over time. Um, but still, yeah, good and solid, perfectly secure for cooking up meals with. Not taking up too much space at all. And still always, on all of these, there's room to feed in more. You can obviously open and close this at your leisure on the side there. And then finally, the kidney pot. Oh, kidney cup. Um, so yeah, that fits really well as well. Obviously there's only certain ways you can put this one round due to its shape. You could put it the other way, but it'd be a lot less stable. The advantage with this one is there is a lot more room because it doesn't take up quite as much space. There is more space to fill in, fill in material while you're still building up the embers for and the fire And finally, itself. just to give you a, an idea, you can actually put a full cast iron Dutch oven on there as well. Um, it is perfectly solid, it's not going to damage it at all. And obviously as you know these are solid cast iron so they have a good amount of weight to them.